from the Who Dares Rolls podcast, and this is Who Dares Rolls TV. And first of all, what can I say? We put out a video, um, which was our preview video of stuff that I was getting very excited about at the expo, which happens at the end of the week. Um, well, of course, there was loads of stuff I missed, and people have gone, you've missed loads of stuff. What about us? What about us? Well, this is true. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do in a very short period of time, very, very quickly, is cover even more stuff. Um, stuff that I forgot to add because I was, you know, just caught up in the moment um, and stuff that people nudge me and go, well, actually, will you do mention this? And I'm like, yes, I should have mentioned that. <sighs> so here we go. There is a list. Uh, number one, off the bat, I, um, I was completely remiss in not mentioning uh, the treasure hunt. There is a treasure hunt happening at this year's expo. Um, arranged and organised by um, a bunch of uh, UK independent publishers and designers, all of which I love UK independent publishers and designers. So there's a treasure hunt. You can get a treasure map, which you can get from Stand Inspiring Games. Stand, uh, there'd be a thing here because I've already forgotten what that was. But yes, grab a treasure hunt and then you will go around to stands which are on there you'll get a stamp when you're at that stand but you need not merely to pass by rubbernecking you'll need to get involved so you need to go there it's an opportunity to speak to designers the publishers play their games this is all what this is about doing what you would do anyway in the course of going to the show but um you'll you'll need to be doing this more so so you'll get a stamp on your card and you'll go around and once you've done all of the publishers on there i believe there's about 20 of them which can be done over the period of the weekend um go to itb stands the guys doing the the subterra stand uh, go and see them there, Peter there, or anyone there, with your completed map, and you'll get the final stamp, and you'll get a custom dice for doing such said things. And there's an opportunity to enter um, to win even more stuff. So um, there's that. How did I miss that? Um, so what else is going on? Paul Grogan. Who could forget Paul Grogan? Yes, the mighty Mr. Grogan will be there from CGE and he is demoing a bunch of stuff. Um, he's got the new game from the designer of Last Will called Pulsar, or working title. Um, it's some sort of mining space intergalactic thing, which is okay. However, what has got me excited is there is an expansion for Adrenaline, um, which adds a sixth player and team play and more weapons and all sorts of other stuff. Adrenaline was fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed it from last year. Uh, I haven't done a review yet, but it, it's great stuff. Really well done and uh yes worth a look anyway but an expansion for that very exciting more code names whatever um vlada please go back to designing some proper games um but there's that so let's do that um what else is there here? yay games uh yay games um andrew harwood haywood the the ominos he did ominos ominos is fantastic came out uh last year at the expo was previewed there it's been out since you can buy it from the expo cracking game really good abstract dice rolling uh game really great filler you can throw it on the table play it it takes about five ten minutes or so to play but it's one of my regular hit the tables at the end or beginning of a gaming session um, go and demo it go and play it and then you'll see what i'm on about um really good stuff um he will no doubt have some of his other titles there sandcastles frankenstein's body and I'm sure he's going to be primary or showing off some of his new designs. So Andrew's always a very exciting UK designer. Love his stuff. Um, go and have a look. Uh, Water Nine Wounds. Woten Games. How did I forget them? They had a big bass last year. Uh, Lawrence with a big beard. Mm. Um, but Woten Games. Water the Nine Wounds. I played that early in the year. It's fantastic. It's actually Viking themed. We love a bit of Vikings. Uh, it's a two player game. Um, you're battling on a field of battle. Uh, it's really dynamic, really cleverly designed, really enjoyable. Um, I was surprised how much fun it was. The Kickstarter for that's happening very soon. Um, I would go along, go and check out Woten's stuff anyway, because all their stuff's really good. But yeah, War the Nine Realms, really, really actually really good. Um, go and have a look at that. Uh, Dice Hospital from Mike Nudd. He designed um, Waggle Dance. Waggle Dance is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, he's done a, a theme hospital with dice, dice and patient stuff. Don't really know more than that. It looks kind of cool. Mike's stuff's really good. So um, go and check them out. Go and have a look at that. And while we're talking about Grubbling Games, of course, they will be there with Perfect Crime, which they premiered last year at the show where it was still be under design. It's at a Kickstarter. It's very close to fulfillment, I believe. Um, it's a two player, well, as a secret two teams. Uh, one of them are bank robbers, one of them are security guards in the building. Very cool idea. Um, so yes, we'll definitely be looking at that at the show and, and I'm sure Groblin stuff, Groblin stuff's great anyway as a UK publisher, brilliant. Go along, go and check them out. Um, Andrew, Andrew, how could I miss Andrew? Hey, Andrew Harwood, Haywood, uh, no, not him. Daring Dice Busty, the, the Daring Dice Bunnies, Andrew Harwood, no, <laughs> okay. Andy Hopwood, 
<laughs> Andy Hopwood. How could I forget Andy Hopwood? Somebody came to my stand and said um, that they, they, they felt it was beautiful and tactile and wonderful and they'd, they'd get it out and they'd show their friends and stuff like that. Do you ever get it out and show your friends? I often, at the first opportunity, whip it out from friends. We got that nice lady the other day to sniff it at your stand, didn't we? A <laughs> spit. <laughs> Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. And I actually will try that if I can. That's good. <laughs> to talk about something else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, Andy Hopwood, yes, he's there. Um, he's designed loads of stuff. Uh, UK, really, just a, a, a personality. Um, yes, but he is there. Six he did a couple of years ago, which I loved. It was a tin of dice with loads of different ideas of playing. He's done uh, Mind Leaf, which is really, really popular. Um, he's done loads of stuff. Okay, um, Nishi, there's just loads of little, kind of just really clever little tinkerer is Andy, and he produces lots of stuff. He is going to be doing demos of Daring Dust Bunnies, which is his most latest design that's going to Kickstarter actually very soon. Um, I love Andy's stuff. Andy's a character. I love Andy generally. He's, he amuses me immensely. Um, go and see him and go and see his game. Go and play his game and, and you'll see what I'm on about. He's, he's just a great, great designer. Uh, doesn't get nearly enough attention or love. Um, and I'm sorry, Andy, for not mentioning you before. Um, Jam Sumo, I don't really know much more, but it's a dice chucker. I love dice chuckers. Rado recently got all Rado on it um, and on the recent podcast from Dice Tower, I believe. Very popular, picking up a lot of uh, word of mouth. That's out there. Gavin Burbom is designer. Cubico Games on F6 will have it. I think it's about 30 quid. It's a kind of wooden, all lovely fashioned out of fine teak. Um, with dice, we love dice chucking. So go and have a look at that. District 31, Stuart Garside um, with his Am Ember game. Numerous versions of Ember. He's got some other stuff in the works. He'll be there. Go along, pick up a copy of the game. Go and have a play. Go and see Stuart. He's always nice. And he has cakes. Can't turn down a bit of cake. <sighs> Right, Rouse. Uh, Godfather. The Godfather game. Eric Lang. So Eric, he's going to have his, um, there's going to be, as we're day, I've got a stand and they will be having Godfather on it, um, for Call Me or Not. Uh, it's out in a few months' time. I love the Godfather. Eric loves the Godfather. It sounds and looks fantastic. Um, so yes, I'm personally excited to go and see that. Um, Kokosa, uh, it's a tall lying Cthulhu game. It's kind of Cthulhu Carcass Zone. Um, no, no, much more than that, but it's been getting a bit of buzz, so that's worth a look. Um, Cosmos, Cosmos are there. They're going to be have stuff. They, um, they're going to have Monster Trap, which we played. I played with the kids. Brilliant stuff, four player movie board stuff. It's, it's silly fun, brilliant. They're also going to be there with all their exit games. Um, these are really good stuff, um, really good value, cheap and cheerful. Uh, exit game in a box. Uh, again, a review of that coming very soon, but their stuff's really good. Go and go along, have a check, go and see what's going on. Uh, Wreck and Ruin, um, stand D22, it's Mad Max miniatures car game. Mmm, very good. Worth a look. And what else? Food! Food! Oh, don't they forget the food? There's loads of food to be yumming up there um, in the food halls and food courts. And of course, what could we go on and finish up by not mentioning is that we will be live. Me, myself and I and the team will be live on Saturday night from nine o'clock and we're doing uh, Room 101. It's in case you missed it in the last uh, video and stuff and things. Um, so yes, we'll be there and there'll be lots of um, stuff of amusing nature. I believe that probably draws a veil over this lovely video. Um, I've rooted on very much as long as I could. I'll see you at the show, which is only in a four days, four days, I think, maybe three. I don't know when this idiot video goes out. It's very close. I'm very excited. I am absolutely pitching a tent in anticipation and I will see you there.